A couple days ago, I was sitting on my bed, writing the script for my next video. Too much blood was sucking my head from overthinking, and it felt like I was gonna explode. So, I stopped what I was doing, I had enough. Subscribers can wait for another week. I look at the YouTube icon and it looks back at me. And I decide to binge watch some YouTube videos. After watching a couple videos, YouTube recommends me this video. A half-naked man with yellow shorts on the thumbnail. He seemed like Freddie Mercury to me, so I clicked, I watched and I read the comments. That's when I realized that I've just found the most hilarious and legendary football hoax of all time. This is a summarized story of Carlos Kaiser. The man who convinced thousands of people for a staggering 13 years to believe that he was a professional footballer only using a phone, injuries, a few connections, and a lot of alcohol. Born in Brazil in 1963, Carlos's relationship with football is like what water is to oil. They are repulsive to each other. In his early childhood, he was given the nickname of Kaiser, due to a resemblance with Franz Beckenbauer. I mean... Maybe. So after hearing this, he decided to star football. He enrolled with Botafogo and Flamengo to star his youth career. Unfortunately for him, his football was mediocre. He was nothing special. He sucked. Surprisingly, in 1979, a Mexican club by the name of Puebla was impressed by him during a training session. So at the age of 16, he flew from Brazil to Mexico. But they quickly realized their mistake and they released him after only playing one single match, simply because he sucked. This event had a big effect on Carlos's career path. So, after returning to Brazil, he thought to himself, I want to become a footballer. It's my dream, but I have no talent. So this is the end. I give up. End of story. Thanks for watching. No, this is not what happened. He had the reckless but ingenious idea of starting his career as a farce footballer. Basically, in paper, he's a footballer, but in reality, he's somewhere else in Brazil clubbing and having his best life. The way he did it was by first befriending footballers, the likes of Carlos Alberto, Ricardo Rocha, and Renato Gaucho, simply to expand and broaden his network so that he could join a new club whenever he wanted to. His fraud consisted of many tricks. One of them was to befriend journalists so that they would write fictional stories about him. In one newspaper article, it was reported that he had such a great time at Webla that he was even invited to become a Mexican citizen to play for the Mexican national team. The farce worked, and he started getting club offers. In 1981, he signed for Botafogo Regata. To keep his farce working, he signed short contracts, and he always stated that he lacked match fitness so that he would spend the first weeks only doing physical training. And then, when he returned to training with his teammates, just after a few runs, he fell down and faked an injury. I guess he just loves visiting the nurse. Back in the days, faking injuries was quite easy. MRI scans, the machines that are used for detecting if a person has an injury and how bad it is, were expensive and not easily accessible, especially for a Brazilian club in the 1970s. If a club executive was skeptical about his injury, Kaiser had another friend of him, who was a dentist, who whenever was needed, gave him a medical certificate of a focal infection. And if things were really going south for him, he still had another trick in his sleeve. He had a toy that resembled an expensive mobile phone. And he created fake conversations with foreign clubs just to give the impression that he was a valuable player. But he always took down their offers because apparently he liked playing in his home country. Just to be clear here, it's not because he liked his country that he took down offers. No, obviously not. He made those calls to buy himself more time with his current club. And the trick worked, because mobile phones in the 80s were gadgets that only a select few had, and they used to cost around $4,000. By following these steps, he managed to stay a few months at various clubs, just training, and without ever being exposed as a fraud in the eyes of the general public. In 1981, while he was still faking an injury in Botafogo, a doctor at the club who was fluent in English caught him faking those calls. So a year later, he joins Flamenco, and he stayed there for three seasons, using the same tactics of faking injuries. Just picture this, you are a young footballer with six to seven years of experience, <laughs> yeah, experience my ass, but in the records, it says zero games played. This guy has teammates, and he occasionally trains with them. Now, those guys are not dumb. Eventually, someone will snitch to his club, right? Well, nope. 
Kaiser is always two steps ahead of everyone. The football pitch was not his area of expertise, but nightlife was. He used to be the guy to rely on for throwing parties, and he also brought hot chicks for his boys. So, they returned the favor by keeping their mouths shut. Amongst his scams, he claimed to be part of the squad of Independiente that won in 1984 both the Copa Libertadores and the Intercontinental Cup by portraying himself as Carlos Henrique, an Argentinian player who was really part of that squad. In 1986, he moved to Europe and joined Ajaccio, where a friend of him was playing. At his presentation, the club arranged a training session with the fans and, afraid of being caught, instead of showcasing his skills with some keep-ups, he shot all the balls to the crowd while kissing the club's badge. He barely played at the club and returned to Brazil the following year. His friendship with local journalists later earned him an article where he was depicted as a top goalscorer at Ajaccio, and they also wrote that he stayed there for eight seasons. He returned to Brazil and joined Bangu, and yes, he kept using the same fake injury tactics. Come on, dude, aren't you bored of being a clown for a decade now? Well, if he's not willing to get his situation fixed, there's someone else who grew tired of Kaiser, Castor Andrade, the club owner, a mafioso of the highest rank in Rio de Janeiro, and had control over prominent politicians, judges, and policemen, and was also involved in illegal gambling activities. The old geezer told the coach to play Kaiser, Kaiser couldn't refuse. As his team was losing by 2-0, Kaiser was sent to warm up. He saw a group of supporters insulting the players. In his eyes, this was a golden opportunity. So he climbed the stands and fought the rival fans. And because of that, he was sent off. This guy's problem solving is off the charts. However, what if I told you that this fight with rival fans was probably a fake story that he invented to just look tough? Because according to a survey by the newspaper Tribuna Expresso, the match happened in 1980, so eight years before what Kaiser claimed. And it was not in Bangu, it was played in Parana, and there was no sign of disruption or expulsion. After hearing this, maybe we know nothing about this guy. Maybe everything I said about this guy was fake. Wait, did he fake fake in his career? What? Is this some kind of fake exception? Like, uh, I, I give up. Kaiser retired in 1992 at the age of 29 after 13 years of faking it. An unfulfilling career if you ask me. For some reason, this guy is very popular in Brazil. He even earned legendary status. Today, he works at a gym, and recently he appeared in a couple TV shows after the release of a feature film in 2018 about his life as a con man footballer. Well, this happened in the 20th century. Now we are the 21st, with the rise of fast communication, social media, today even little kids have smartphones in their pockets that can deliver high quality images. There is no chance for anyone to fake it for longer than a few months. For example, our most recent case of faking it is this guy, Alessandro Zarelli. He was sent by the Italian FA to England, but when it came time to test his skills, he did abysmally. I do relate to Kaiser who doesn't want to live a relaxed life without duties, without work, just partying hard and earning a good paycheck with no effort. We can all agree on this one. You and I also believe that you should subscribe to Zeo Legend. This is the moment when I say goodbye, check out some of my older videos, you will love them, and remember, in order to make it, fake it. Thanks for watching.